I've got a charter in about one hour exactly. And we're hoping to get on some Pompano. We have been waiting and waiting, at least I have, for Pompano to come to our area. They're north of us, they're south of us. Yeah, I wish I could totally capture how beautiful that is, but we don't have time for that right now. I need to get rigs going, to get lines out in the water and get fishing. That other hand all the way at the end, that'll help you have more power too. There you go. Did that feel better? Yeah. Good, that looked better. You it had, the, it had the right motion. Yeah. I'm really anal about lining this up so that one's not in line, I'm gonna have to fix it. <laughs> yes, I am that person. And I'm gonna fix this one, this is not in line. Hopefully we can start getting on some fish soon. I'm lining this one with those two, and then that one's not in line. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to fix it, guys. You wanna go parallel to the shoreline when you're putting your sand spikes in. Don't go this way. We've got these planes flying, and we've had four of them. We got a whiting. Yeah, whiting. Nice, on the sand flea. <laughs> I That's knew it was on our kind of heavier than it's nice. We'll still go to the other beach because I'm always catching whiting there and stuff too. Yeah. All right, we're changing locations because everything was dead at Matanzas Beach. We didn't see anybody catching anything. We're heading down to Barn Park and we're going to see what we can catch there. That's right. Listen, if none of the poles are shaken, then it's time to get bacon. Get out of there and go find another spot. That's right. We're here at our next location, Barn Park. See the uh, bathrooms behind me. Heard there's a bunch of bonnet heads here, so that should be fun. So we're gonna head on down to the beach, find a spot, hopefully hook onto some sharks. Here we go. Yeah, there may be something small on there. I'll toss this out and then watch. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there's something on there. So you're gonna wanna tighten the drag right away. Make sure it's real tight, lift it straight out, don't lose attention, and reel, reel, reel. Oh, there you go. It's just small. Ah, look at it. Like I said, there's nothing there. <laughs> it's a little guy. Oh, he popped off. That's good bait. That's a good bait fish. Yeah. Yep. Oh, no, Ooh. buddy. <laughs> I like, he jumped out of my hand, but it worked. Yeah, this is great bait. Okay. There you go. Oh, tighten it down. Hang on a second. Wait, wait, wait. There you go. It, it's a it's a pompano. Oh, there we go. They're fighting pretty hard. Nice. Yeah, he's a little short, but nice. we'll measure him up. That is our target species, though. Yeah. Woo! Now these guys have spikes on their head and on their belly. They've got five spikes up here. Oh you can gosh, see them. yeah. They've got two down here. They're they're they, they'll get you right yeah, in the hand. So pretty circle. Oh, I know, with the circle have, hooks. How did you do that? Because I have the heck of a time getting circle hooks out. You, you got to kind of reverse the circular motion. All right, you can throw them back. They're beautiful, and they taste so good. Real, real, real. Don't let there be any uh, slack. Yep, straight up through that wash. That, let's see, what is that? Mm, no, that is a nice... Whoa. Big whiting. Wow. Got that a is, that's a big one. Look how fat he is. Nice. That is a good one. Let, yeah, I'll get a picture of you. Yeah, I can take this pole here. We'll get him measured up. Man, he's nice. He's barely hooked, too. Yeah. Wow. He was barely. Look at that guy. Yeah, about 14. Beautiful. Oh, he's really slimy, so. Awesome. I don't want it spiked across here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see it, yeah. You can see it in the waves. They, they'll they pop off in the wash. That's the best place, so you definitely reel, reel, reel up through the wash. 
Oh, nice. Woo! That's a keeper. Oh, yeah. That's that is a, a that is a beautiful pompano. Oh. These, these come out of the river. See how yellow they are? Sometimes it's easier to grab the spikes down here don't start till here, so sometimes it's easier to grab them like underneath. It's like it came out by itself. Oh, there you go. <laughs> All right, well, let's measure them up. We know he's keeper. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, buddy. He's 12 and a half. Yeah, he's, he's like 12 and a half to the fork. You want to hold him? Uh, you can put him in. I'm good. I okay. Help him. If you're going to be visiting Northeast Florida and you want an experience that you have never had before, why don't you consider booking a surf fishing charter with me, Kathy Sanders. I supply all of the bait, all of the equipment. All you need to do is bring whatever you would bring to have a fun time at the beach. All the information is there at the bottom of the screen. You can go to fishing-girl.com, fill out our booking form, and let's get some dates scheduled and get you out here fishing. Here, let's tighten down the drag first. Tighten it to the left, yep. We want to make sure nothing, yeah. It's, this one, this reel is crazy. Okay, now try it. Pull it straight out. Oh, this is slack. It was slack. I think it might have been the wind catching it, but keep an eye. Oh man, it must have popped off. That's okay. That one was short. We need to throw it long anyways, so. Oh, there we go, yeah. I just tightened that down. This is awesome. Yeah. You have to keep that tension on. You feel it fighting? Yeah. Oh, this one might be a, uh, this is slack. They got tangled together. I was like, why is this one slack? There was probably something on yours, but it got tangled with this one for some, it, it could have run right in through it. Oh man. Well, we're getting bites. The sand flea's gone off of this one, so I'll put another sand flea on. It's been all spring trying to figure out where they are and I'd drive an hour away to get on the Pompano and I'd have someone right here sending me pictures of Pompano. I'm like, really? And then lift it straight out and keep reeling, keep reeling. Yeah, you can walk backward to keep tension on. There's a fish, yep. Reel them up, reel them up, up out of the wash. in the waves. That's a whiting. Yeah, I know. It's a whiting. It's pumping. It was just small. It's really small. So the smaller ones are still closer. Oh, yeah. Yep, keep reeling, keep reeling. It's Pompano. Oh yeah, that's that's a keeper. I had my water bottle. <laughs> I shoved it in my pocket. <laughs> that's beautiful. Here, hold on to that. We'll measure him up. Hey guy. That's beautiful. Kind of flip a little bit. Yeah. He was barely hooked though, you see that? Man, look it up, Andy. Yeah, good job. Good job keeping them on the line, too. It takes some getting there, used to it. It is, yeah. The wave and stuff I'm not used to. Yep. So that's almost 13 and a half, maybe 13 and a quarter. So that's a little bit bigger than the other one. I won! <laughs> <laughs> I 
manufacture our Fish and Girl float rigs. We have these for sale in our store at fishing-girl.com. We make these in five different colors. We have the floats, as you can see, they are right on the hooks. And underwater footage, a lot of times they're sucking in the floats before they're sucking in the hooks in the bait. So check those out, but now back to the video. Okay, Bert's gonna reel in this last fish. There's something on there. Yeah, it's been rocking. I've been watching it. You'll want to tighten that. There you go, yeah. Is it? Is it? Hey, we got our shark. We got our shark. <laughs> He's a baby. But we got our his little bonnet head. Not nearly as big as that other one. Yeah, that's a bunch of species now. That, that, uh, finishes the, that finishes the day properly. Yeah, yeah there we go. All right, we're going to throw this guy back. Well, it was fun, buddy. There you go. Be free.